If you're looking for window keys, 019 has cheap Windows 10 professional keys that are legit. You're saving a lot of money, and with 019's live support, they're there to help you if you have any problems. Use the code KTSAVE22 for an extra 22% off your purchase. Microsoft Office 2016 professional keys are also an option, which feature Word, Excel, OneNote, and PowerPoint. It's cheap and easy, and you're saving a great deal. Use the code KTSAVE10 for 10% off site-wide. Links in the description. Hey, what's up guys? It's Kara here. Welcome back to another video on my channel, and today we're back. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys a ton of parts that I've bought over the past few months that I haven't been uploading, and literally, it's just been piling up in my room, and it's kind of too much now, but I'm going to be showing you guys all the lots that I got, and I've actually gotten over 10 lots, which is like insane, and most of these deals are actually really great. Some are okay, but overall, these parts are like super cheap and I'm gonna be using these parts in upcoming builds and so you'll be seeing them then. But today I'm gonna be showing you guys a few things that I bought over the past few months and I might break this up into two videos because since there's just so much, I don't wanna upload like a 30 minute video of me just talking about parts that I've got and the prices. But hopefully you guys all will enjoy this video and if it's not too long, I'll incorporate everything. But yeah, so anyways, let's get started into the first few lots. Starting off with the first lot, I bought all these items from an auction site called Able Auctions. Now getting into the items, we'll start off with the notebook accessories. I don't really have a use for them, but these batteries were included in this lot, so now I kinda just have them. But next up we have is the power supplies. First is the EVGA 450 watt power supply, and this is going to be great to use in upcoming budget builds that you guys should see soon. The next item here made this an awesome deal. We have the EVGA Supernova 850G3 fully modular power supply. And here in Canada, this PSU sells for around $165 brand new, so this really makes this deal worth it. And it also comes with all the accessories, all the cables and everything, which was awesome. Here we have the Asus Prime B250M A motherboard. This is for the LG 1151 socket, but unfortunately, there were a few bent pins and I actually don't have a CPU to test it, which kind of sucks, but I'm hoping to find a cheap one so I can see whether or not I fix the bent pins. Now, finally, for the two graphics cards, we have an EVGA GeForce 210 and an EVGA GeForce GTX 750 for the win that I will also be using in a budget build. I got all these items in one lot and in total I paid $120 Canadian or $92 US which is an absolute killer deal. The second lot is a lot smaller than the first lot but I got this motherboard and RAM combo deal from the app Let Go. The RAM we have 16 gigs, 4 sticks of 4 gigabytes of DDR3 running at 1333 megahertz. Now I'm not sure what brand it is but there's no heat spreader and the RAM is pretty plain looking but it works. Moving on to the motherboard, we have the Asus P6T Deluxe V2 for LGA 1366 CPUs. This board is pretty great for overclocking, and I'm looking to pair it with a Xeon for my next build. In total, I got this pair for $80 Canadian or $61 US. Now this lot was definitely worth it since RAM prices went up and also because X58 socket motherboards are really expensive. The third lot is another motherboard, but with the CPU cooler and CPU. The motherboard is the ASRock Fatality 990FX Killer, an amazing board not only spec-wise, but also by the looks of it. The CPU cooler is the famous Hyper 212 EVO, and the CPU is the FX8350, and when I first bought this lot, I wasn't actually expecting a CPU. I just thought it was the motherboard plus the cooler, but when it arrived at my doorstep, I was beyond happy because I was getting an even better deal on this set. Now, I bought this set from Hardware Swap, which is a subreddit on Reddit. You can find some pretty amazing deals off the site if you're patient and you look hard enough. In total, I got this combo for $74 Canadian and $56 US. If it weren't for shipping from the States to Canada, I would have gotten this combo for $25 US, but even with shipping, this is a great deal. For the fourth lot, we have a CPU, RAM, and case. I got this combo off of Letgo, and if you're ever deal hunting, this is the site to go to because you can find some amazing deals. The CPU is an i7-2600K, and at the moment, I'm trying to find a motherboard to pair up with it for an upcoming build. The RAM is the G-Scale Ripjaws 4 gigs of DDR3, two 6 that are both running at 1600 MHz. And last but not least, we have the case, which is the Thermaltake View 21 TG. This case is a great looking case with the side panels being tempered glass, and I seriously cannot wait to use it in a build. In total, I paid $90 Canadian and $67 US, and that's not a bad price at all considering the case is $100 Canadian brand new. Hey guys, so... Well, I just finished editing the video and I don't
don't have an outro, so I'm doing it now quickly. Um, I'm going to catch a flight in a few hours and I don't have my bags packed, but I'm going to be uploading this video because that is number one priority because I missed last week's upload. Um, so I'm going to try to get this up now. And I'm sorry that it's not as long as I hoped it would be, but I have a few more video clips that I have not yet edited because I didn't have time to. I gotta really pack my bags. But you guys should be seeing a part two of this video. Not really part two, but just a longer version and more parts because I didn't film everything yet. So, yeah. Um, comment down below what you guys want to see in the next video and leave your suggestions down below. And also, if you guys want to see the Send Me Your Setup series, comment down below. I will do that, and I'll try my best to make it happen. Um, but other than that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy, and I will see you all in the next one.